Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So work progresses on the nether. Um, so I've got my portal here. Woo! And I've got this encased here, so I move this up. This connects back to my base, which is nice. And when I found the skeleton spawner, the first thought I had was, oh, I should put a portal over here. So I did. Now, this is a little, so this is a little more complete here, but the thing is, this was a little close. And I even moved it away from the skeleton spawner and this still sometimes uh, connects back to the wrong place or no, this one goes to my base and this one goes to the skeleton spawner. Uh, sometimes my base links me up here, which whatever, it's only 17, 18 blocks away from there. So who cares? Let's go check out the skeleton spawner. So I had to, because I had to move the portal a few blocks away. So of course I had to move the portal here more than that away, but that's okay. So here's the work that I've done. Obviously this is still work in progress. Skeleton spawner. And there is a slime chunk nearby here. I hope I can figure out where, because it would be nice to have a slime farm. And if it's going to be close enough to this, if it's going to be active here, I could do here and do both. So I've got the uh, the spawner here all lit up. Uh, standard skeleton spawner thing with the thing and it uh, goes to the thing and a little mob softener. Um, if that slime can get to me in some way here, we will have to be a little more careful. I may have to protect it a little bit. but I suspect maybe it's down below and over that way, just for the sound of it. So I don't know. So we'll see. And then uh, mobs get pushed over here. There's an elevator back behind this wall. Up, up. And then they go up here and get pushed over here. And they get dropped here. And I'll stand here and go smack. And they should all be one hit kills and it should be then drop bones and... Uh, arrows and other miscellaneous skeleton things into here and lots of XP for me. And then, uh, so I have this whole plan for getting it active. So let's, uh, let's take care of that. So give me a moment and we'll go and start to make it a thing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. Nope, nope, not yet. Hang on. Whoa, whoa. Get down. Get down. Oh, okay. The scaffolding is great. It's, uh, it's a game changer. So I'm going to come down here. And we're going to take all these scaffolds. Wow, okay. So this goes up a ways. I'm not even sure how far. 31 blocks, maybe. Okay, and then, and I've got signs in place so the water can't flow in or flow out. And then we need this to be a bubble column and you can see I've got a light up there. So let's go up there now. And we'll do that through the exit. Fortunately, I only have to do this once. So here, come up here and go up to the top. And then we'll look over this way. And I can, oh. Okay. I thought maybe the zombie was in here. He's not. That's fine. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a bucket. I'm going to do this super, super cautiously. Put the water here. Let it flow down to the bottom. Go back down to the bottom here. Obviously, there are a ton of caves around here. And if I want 
a farm like this to be super efficient, I'm going to have to go and do a lot of caving to wipe things up. But for this, it shouldn't matter much. Okay, so we come over here. Look, we have water. Now we can take um, some kelp and plant it here, right? Plant. Ooh. Now the kelp turns flowing water into water source blocks. I want this whole thing to be water source blocks. So we think this is 31 tall. So I just bone meal this probably about 30 times until I can't bone meal it anymore. Right there, exactly 30 times. Okay, uh, again, just being super cautious, I'm gonna go back up and check to make sure that that kelp has, plant has reached the top. Probably could assume that it's okay and that it uh, has made it up, but I wanna be sure. Okay, yes, it has made the top. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom again and uh, and knock out the kelp plants and pick those all up. That should turn that into a bubble elevator. And from there, I should be able to ride it up as a test. Just doing this a piece at a time, a little bit of unit testing. Oh, get out. Uh, okay. Oh, and the reason I kind of got sucked in is because there's an air block there there's like a, a hole and it kind of the water's flowing in so it kind of wants to suck me in break the kelp and of course i picked up none of that uh okay so now in theory that should all turn into water into a bubble vader should appear I see the bubble starting. Okay. Oh, I see some bubble particles. I'm going to go back up to the top. A, pick up all the kelp and make sure that it's a bubbling at the top. And while I'm here, I'm just going to pick up, fill up my other bucket. Go up to the top and check. And the kelp should all be floating at the top. And and it's a bubble vader. Blop. Now I've got a bunch of kelp. Okay. Cool. So now, next test. Gonna go down. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bubble vader up. Since it's bubbling at the top, it should be bubbling all the way. There needs to be a, a column of source blocks. Go down. Yeah, I see some particles. I to get in. Whoa! Nice. Get out. Aha! Nice. So now, next step. Oh, oh, careful. Do not need to be messing up my thing just yet. Okay, good. So now the next step. And I can leave these lights up, I think. I think I can leave this lit. I place a water thing here and it should flow along and get just to the edge. Excellent. Oh, okay. So then I think I can now, yeah. I'm gonna go back down and run through again and just make sure that I get to the top and it pushes me off to the side. It should. This is the way it designed in, in, uh, in creative, but I just want to make sure before I break these and then activate the drop, because once I do that, getting down through the drop will might not kill me because I do. You know what? I should. I have feather falling boots. I should get them. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. And then, oh, wait, get back there. I have feather falling and huh. Let me do that again and not move. 
not move when I get to the top. Just let the current take me and see what happens. I think that's right. Uh, if not, I may need to go check my creative world and see if that's the way I have it set up. Because hmm. alternately, I guess I could place it here, right? No, because it won't. So it has to be coming from there. Unless it comes from there. Nope, not there either. So it has to be there. Okay. I feel like this might be worth checking real quick. Um, let me get some more water here. Before again, I knock out these, replace this with a hopper, put a piece of carpet on top of it, and then block this up. And then the drop is, is there. And if I go through it, I will be in bad shape. And then it's just a matter of adding water down there. Let's... Uh, Because the next step is this here. And we don't want light in here. And the water will take out these torches anyway. Um, right. And so we have this. Which will push along here. And then next one goes there. And it'll push me along. I fall down here. Move along. The fences raise me up just a little bit. Just enough. And the skeletons will be pushing each other as they move along here because there will be more than one of them. And then get sucked into the bubble vader? No. Okay, I'm going to have to go check the creative world and see what I did differently here. Hang on a second. So, I can push it along here. I'm not gonna take my fingers off the direction key, so I'm not gonna move. Cross it down. Drop down. Get pushed. And I get sucked up in. Oh. Okay. So there's definitely a uh, source block there, so that's correct. And then down the drop. So what is different down here? Let me give myself an empty bucket. And come here and pick up water. Ah, no. Oh gosh. So this is, there's not a water source there. So this is, I built the run a little too long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then down one. And then it pushes along here. And the water goes, basically starts to flow up underneath the side. Go back into the world. And make an adjustment here. Do I? 
It's a block. Place a block. It's going to get dark here, so I should put some torches. So if I take out this block, replace this with a brick. Not that anyone will ever see that. And then, let's try that. Does that work? No, why not? What is wrong? Okay. Oh, this is going to be really... This is going to suck if... Um, do I need to put another fence in here? Will that work? I don't want to have to move that whole drop. Okay, please work, please work, please work. Yes. All right. Good. Getting close. I might be able to turn this thing on in just a moment. Okay, that's in place. And then I need to... Do I take out this now? I think so. We break this. Got another hopper here. Right. And some carpet. Oops, I don't want that. There, there, there. Place the hopper. Place the carpet. And wall this up. Just hope I don't get stuck in it. Carpet, gravel. Okay. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, now for the scary part. Just a moment. Um, get out. Ah, oh, criminy, get out. Whew, okay. We are live. little bit for me to get over here. Hello, sir. Ha! One hit kill. Okay, we're done. Okay, that was a big pain in the butt. I'm gonna 
add some bricks here. So this is, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is good. So this is a, this will be a reasonably decent XP farm, but the more important thing, bones and, uh, and arrows. Well, I've got infinity on my bow here, so I don't need that. Um, you know, ice actually doesn't make mobs move faster over them. It makes entities move, but not mobs. Um, so it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you put ice down, but no, I don't, I don't have any ice. It's, uh, it's kind of, kind of frustrating. So let's see how long it takes to fill this thing up. So I'm standing right over the spawners right there. So in theory, it should be spawning multiple skeletons at a time. And they should, some of them will die dropping down, um, but it'll be, uh, most of them should survive it. And then some with armor might take a little longer. And if we look here, so there's five of them in there, or I've got five entities in my view here, but we'll let them build up a little bit. Then I can whack them with my sword and kill all of them at once and get the experience and... Oh, it drops. Let's do that. Whew. Okay. So that took way longer than I wanted it to, but um, it's okay. It's done. I got it completed. 